This is our returning champion, Ron Damper from Chicago, Illinois. Stand by to see Ron play for a diamond bracelet valued at $6,250. Tonight on America's Biggest Bargain Sale, we're offering a Jaguar valued at $32,856 for $530. Cash and prizes worth over $100,000 for $750. Two of the incredible bargains on Sale of the Century. And now, here's the star of our show, Jim Perry. Hello there. Thank you very much. I thank you. And good evening. Welcome to Sale of the Century. Delighted to have you with us, and we are delighted to welcome back a fine champion from Chicago, Ron Damper. Hello, Ron. How are you doing, Jim? I'm doing fine, and so are you. You have $255 in your bank account. A win today with just another $5. You could have a diamond bracelet worth over $6,000, and also very possible today, $85. That's how far away you are from a grand piano worth almost $10,000. Cash jackpot stands at $65,000. Ready to go? I'm ready. Good. Oh, he sounds it. Good <laughs> luck, Ron. Here to introduce the challenger, Summer Bartholomew. I like that. I'm ready. Bring them on. Bring them all. Who's ready to take them? Yes, he who, is. who did you bring for this? Oh, our first uh, challenger works as a corporate insurance broker from Los Angeles, California. Help welcome Alex Glickman. Hello, Alex. Our second challenger is a pushover when it comes to animals. Originally from Fort Lewis, Washington, here's John Goss. Hello, John. And we'll see you later with some bargain summer. All righty. John, a pushover when it comes to animals. What does that mean? I'm a sucker for anything on four legs that shows up on the porch. I just take them in. Oh, oh that's very nice. That is, a, that is a nice thing. We won't give your address, or you might have a lot of them. <laughs> they don't there. need it. <laughs> yeah. Good to have you here, John. Alex, a uh, corporate insurance broker. Enjoy your work. Absolutely, and I don't know why people think that insurance is boring. I work for an international firm that represents everything from satellites to racehorses. Sounds like it would be interesting. Just good. If you're going to spend eight hours a day doing it. You better enjoy it. Nice to have you here as well. $20 starts all three players, and I'm going to enjoy starting off with this question. He said, I smell victory in the air. We're going to win on November 3rd. John? Walter Mondale. Boy, was he wrong. You're right. Walter Mondale it is. $5 for the correct answer. November 3rd, 1984, I was going to say, and $5 gets John to 25 Which month? has long been known as the Merry Merry Month. Ron? Uh, May. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stolen through the park in the Merry Merry Month of June. No, I think it's May. You're right, Ron. You go to 25. Who was America's first first lady? Ron? Martha Washington. Martha Washington is right. Yes, Martha Dandridge Custis Washington, to be exact. Ron goes into the lead, to be exact. How many quarts are in a gallon? John? Four. Four is right, and John keeps the pace with Ron. Yes. Two-way waitress, what's a BLT, John? It's a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. That's what favorite. it is, and John goes into the lead. And that can be important. It is time now for an instant bargain. The player in the lead can buy bargain merchandise. Sale surprise with a bonus, remember, could come up at any time. John, you've got a $5 lead over the champion. You can buy this. Mm, John, here's a real scoop for good times. This marvelous ice cream machine. Beautiful desserts in minutes. Rich ice cream, silky sherbets, and fresh frozen yogurts. Furnished by Meisen Plus. It's normally priced at $400 and today on sale of Century Chores for only $5. Just $5, John. Beautiful. When you have all the animal lovers over to the house, you can make ice cream. and It's a sensational light. The gelato is very nice, very hot, good stuff. My For, waistline, though. It, your waistline. <laughs> your wa well, if you need some diet goodies to offset it, uh. I'll give you $100 in cash. Mm. You'd have a $500 bargain for the price of one question. You'd only uh. be in a tie with Ron. Going once, nice. going twice. Nice. He'll buy. Nice. Enjoy that. Enjoy the machine. Enjoy the $100 in cash. And all it cost you was one question. $5 down to 30 tying Ron. Back with this. Name the actress who won an Academy Award for her starring role in Norma Ray. John. Sally Field. You got that $5 right back. Good. Sally Field it is. John back in the lead. Mount Kilimanjaro is the highest peak, Ron. In Africa. On what continent? You're right. It is Africa. Took a chance. It paid off. And we've got a tie again with a gentleman. Alex, hit that buzzer. Hey, see, it's working. You're just, right. I know you, you're going for the buzzer, and they're just beating you to it. A classic book in American literature begins with the line, Call me Ishmael. John. Moby Dick. Moby Dick, yes, indeed. Famous line, and John back into the lead. Yeah. 
John and Ron bouncing back and forth. Time now for the Fame Game, where we play for a pick of that Fame Game board, looking for what's behind nine numbers. We're looking for a famous person. I was born in Indianapolis, Indiana in 1947. I grew up watching three men who had great influence on me, Steve Allen, Johnny Carson, and Jonathan Winters. My five years on an Indianapolis TV station came to an end. John, taking a chance? It's David Letterman. It is indeed David Letterman. He was sure, and he was right. Yes. Yeah. Well, John, what number looks good to you? Summer looks real good, but I'll take six. <laughs> and behind number six, we have TJ! <laughs> John, John gets a $10 money cart, and that's all, John. <laughs> we add that to your score, and John goes up to 50. The champion now trails by $15. I started to say with David Letterman, his five-year career in Indianapolis came to an end when he blew up a cardboard replica of the building he was working in. We'll be right back. <laughs> It's Buzzer's Pick and Play Summer. Keep watching all of your weekly winners. Well, John in the lead at $50, and Ron the champion trails by 15 to 35 with plenty of time, and Alex at 20. We're back with this. At the end of a piece of correspondence, what do the letters PS? Alex? Postscript. That's what it stands for, postscript, and Alex gets by. Yeah. And the Alex Glickman fan club is heard from. In 1862, a rousing patriotic hymn was written, John. Battle Hymn of the Republic. By Julia Ward Howe. Battle Hymn of the Republic is right, yes. <laughs> John was giving us a little doo -doo 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 -doo. Yes, indeed, yes. How many buns are there in a baker's dozen? John. Thirteen. Yeah, I guess somebody was sitting on the end of the chair there. Yeah, that's right, thirteen it is. And you got another five. Gotta think about that, right? Who formulated the first vaccine for polio? John? Jonas Salk. Jonas Salk. Yes, John is really on a roll as he goes up to 65. And you did some buying before, John, and you are back in the lead. You're back with a very good-sized lead, as a matter of fact. A $30 lead. Ample opportunity to buy this. John have twice the fun with his and her TVs. They're 19-inch color sets with one-button picture balance control and illuminated channel indicators, furnished by Sharp. This beautiful gift is normally priced at $878, and today on Sale of the Century, it's yours for only $10. Oh, my goodness, John. Two, count them. 
two color television sets for $10, almost $900 worth of television sets. Now, you have a $30 lead. I so also you have a hole in my wall in my bedroom that yeah. fit real good. This will me. fit into the wall. Sure. That's right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to ask how he's got the hole in the wall in the bedroom <laughs> or why. It's for a TV. <laughs> well, if you bought the two of them, you would still have a big lead. You would still have a $20 lead. So I'm going to leave that price right where it is. Just 10 bucks, you'd still have a $20 lead. Going once, going twice, he's going to buy it. Enjoy. Sale surprise goes with it, John. Way to go. John, you've got yourself two television sets for 10 bucks and included as well one, two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars in cold cash. Wow. Almost fifteen hundred dollars for ten dollars, and you just you still have the lead by twenty. Nicely done. What animal is identified by the name Shire, Belgian, and Clydesdale? Alex? Horse. Horse, yes, they're all draft horses. There is a Shire, as a matter of fact. And Alex has another five. After Paris, this Canadian city is the largest French-speaking, Alex? Montreal. Largest French-speaking city in the world. Interesting, it's in Canada, and Montreal is exactly what, what city it is. And Alex goes a 35 tying run. Haven't heard from the champion for a while. John with that $20 lead. What's the capital of North Dakota? John? Fargo. No. Bismarck. Bismarck, you lose $5 in the first backward step for John in a long time. According to the nursery rhyme, what's made of sugar and spice, Ron? My little girls. And everything nice, little girls is exactly right. And John, back to, uh, Ron, back to undisputed possession of second place. $10 separate the two gentlemen. Among others, the California condor, the... Alex? Endangered species. The bald eagle and the whooping crane are on this unenviable Ooh. list. You are right. My goodness, what anticipation. Alex adds another five. One thing that is never on the endangered species list are commercials. You voted, and the Pick and Play winners are? Well, stay tuned and find out. Turn to Buzzer's Pick and Play Summer Celebration. 
Our champion has enough money for that beautiful diamond bracelet, but he must win. And right now he's trailing by $10 to John, who had a hole in the wall for a year and a half, he told us, <laughs> waiting for that TV. Well, I'm waiting now for a $15 money card. I guarantee you, it's up there. We go looking for a famous place. Famous place. I'm the oldest and largest city in Australia. I have a huge harbor name. John, taking a chance? It's Sydney. It is indeed Sydney, yes. With limited information, John has that pick of the board. I lived there for three years. They'd have hated me if I got that wrong. I'm going to go with two. And behind number two, we have a dining set. Style at Solar Strand Indoor Outdoor Chip Proof High Style Quality Dining Set with the look, texture, and weight of natural wicker furnished by Style at. Very nice. $400 worth of furniture. And that's yours to keep. No matter how you finish in the game, you will note there is a place for the second television set. You will not yes. have to make another hole in the wall, John. That's we'll yours. And still a $10 lead. Ron was leading the applause because he didn't find another, another money card. <laughs> now listen carefully. Neil Armstrong was the first man to set foot on the moon. Ron? Aldridge and Collins was with me. Who was the first man to follow in his footsteps? It was Buzz Aldrin. Buzz Aldrin, yes. Yes, I'm sorry, you said Aldridge, we cannot accept that, and you lose five on that, Ron. What do we call any young lady who is making her formal entrance, John? A debutante. Into society, a deb, a debutante is exactly what it is, and again, John has a $20 lead. Quality products come stamped with made in the USA. 1984, quality rock and roll came born in the USA. Name the rocker, John. Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen it is, as John beats everyone on the buzzer. And John stretches out his lead again. Now, you've got $60 to Alex's 40 and Ron's 35. $20 lead. Oh, John, you might like this. John, you'll beam on your vacation to sunny Florida. We'll fly you and a guest from Los Angeles to Miami Beach for a week's vacation at the Newport Beach Resort Hotel in Miami Beach on the ocean. Featuring the pub restaurant for dining pleasure and entertainment in the Seven Seas Lounge. Furnished by the Newport Beach Resort Hotel. This great vacation is normally priced at $2,000. Today on sale of the Century, tours for only $15. Now, Summer's trying to talk, and they're trying to hit her with a ball. Like, but I'll tell you one thing, a $2,000 vacation can be yours for $15. You would still have the lead. You would have bought everything and still have the lead. I gave you, what did I give you before in cash? How much money did I give in cash? I gave him $100 in cash before, and you got $600 in it. That's $700. Let's round it out in cash to an even $1,000 by giving you $300 more in cash, $2,300 bargain with that trip to Miami, and you would still have the lead by five bucks. Going once, going twice, going to Miami. Wow. John, enjoy. We knocked the fifteen dollars off your score, and as we go down to the wire, we have a very close game now. Don't you dare go away. Right up, John. Good trip. The Buzzer Academy of Hosting presents Tossing to Commercial. We'll pause with these words. Well, come on back. We'll be back. We'll be back first. This. Yes. Keep it right here on Buzzer. certainly speaks for itself. It is John at $45, Alex at 40, the champion Ron trails by 10 at 35. Let's get back to it. In the Roman Catholic faith, who was considered to have been the very first pope? Ron? Peter. That's right, St. Peter it is, and Ron ties Alex to second place. $5 separate all three players. Name the president who led us through World War I. John? Woodrow Wilson. That's exactly right. Wilson it is, and John stretches it out to a $10 lead again. 
Director Mike Nichols' first film was a brilliant John. Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I didn't need to give him any more information than that, and he is right. That's exactly what it is. John, now with a $15 lead. Well, I promise you that $15 money card from before, a $25 money card has been added. Famous person. I was born in 1822 and became one of the world's greatest scientists. I was the first to show that living things come only from living things. Although others saw bacteria before I did, I am credited with saving the French wine and silk industries when I suggested microbes can be controlled by heat. Ron. Pasteur. That's right, Louis Pasteur it is. And the champion for the first time tonight gets control of that board. Five. And behind number five, we have three times the big one. Where was the 15 of summer? Oh, nice. But Ron gets the control for the first time and adds 25, and the champion goes into the lead. Mm. Down to the wire we go. We finish up the game with a speed round. 60 seconds on the clock, please. And now it is Ron in the lead at 65. John trails by just 10 at 55. Alex, you are not out of it at 40. Good luck as we start the speed round. Now, name the famous American family that made a very successful victory tour in 84. John. The Reagans. Wrong. Of what South American country is Santiago the capital? John. Chile. Right. According to the old adage, if the shoe fits, Alex. Wear it. Right. To King Arthur, what was Excalibur? John. His sword. Right. On July 4th, 1984, whose famous torch was removed? John. Statue of Liberties. Right. Name the Eternal City. John. Rome. Right. In what month is the World Series played? Ron. October. Right. After a long trial was over, so was the marriage of Christina Farrar and Alex. Uh, John DeLorean. Right. What number is represented by the Roman numeral L? Ron. Uh, 50. Right. Name the continent where the Andes Mountains are located. John. South America. Right. Who wrote the Pickwick Papers? John. Charles Dickens. Right. In what state did Ponce de Leon search? John. Florida. Right. All for one and one for all was the motto. John. Marines. Wrong. In what month was the date which will live in infamy? John. Time is up. You don't get to answer, but you win by five dollars. Wow. Time ran out. And I am not sure. I am not sure if John may not have been saved by the bell. Had he been wrong, we would have had a tie. But time ran out. He was not, he could not answer. In what month was the date which will live in infamy? John, did you know it? You did know it. You did know it. It is December 7th. So he knew it anyway. And I think that may make Ron feel a little better. The others, uh, we can finish up all for one and one for all, was the motto of the Three Musketeers. Uh, the famous torch, I didn't get a chance to finish it. You were close, John. <laughs> this is because they had a hole in the wall, too, and they all snuck out. He couldn't get them. Uh, yes, the, the torch was removed for repairs, and I will admit that 84 was a successful year for the Reagans, but it was the Jacksons who took the victory tour. <laughs> we have to say goodbye, first of all, to our champion. He did so very well. He's got himself a beautiful guitar, the dinnerware, gold barbells, very unusual, a complete gym set, $375 in cash. Ron, we uh, wish you good luck with your new marketing consultant firm, and you are leaving us with just, uh, oh, just a little over $2,300 in cash in price. Thank you very much, Jim. Bye, Jeff. Thank you, Ron. Alex didn't get a chance to pick up anything along the way, but of course you've got the cash in front of you and our thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. And our new champion, John, is going shopping with me. Come on, John, let's go up here. You bought everything and you still won. Congratulations. Fine, fine job. You bought three instant bargains. You won in spite of the champion finding the $25 money card. You are indeed a champion that deserves to stand here right now where you can say yes and add this to your winnings and leave us. Jay? It's the picture of entertainment. This 45-inch color television featuring a rear projection system for brilliant picture clarity. A great home theater in your living room furnished by Sharp. This fantastic TV normally priced at $2,600. Yours on sale of the century for only $85. Well, now, do you have a hole in the floor big enough for that?
that, no, never mind. That You don't need a hole for that one. What's unusual, you bought a couple of TVs, and here's another beautiful TV. Now, ignore that price. You won with $80. You are entitled to that first prize. It would normally cost $85. You can have it for $80. Incidentally, I was just curious, uh, John, somebody just flashed it to me. In instant bargains, you've already got over $4,600 in cash and prizes. Wow. Now, the next thing up the line, you would need another win, and you would need just $95 more. You are certainly capable of doing it, and you could have these. Make waves together with these his and her jet skis. Maybe the ultimate water toys for jumping the wake, racing, or just plain showing off. Furnished by Burbank Kawasaki. Normally priced at $5,498. Yours on sale of the century for only $175. That's just $175. Where do you live, John? I live here in Los Angeles. Yes, so you're near the water, uh, right? right? Close, yeah. Oh, they, they are fun. They are fun, and there are two of them. You can put the animals in the other. Right? <laughs> no problem. I'll, I'll try to make it work. That would be $175, so you're $95 away from that with another win. But my goodness, if you want transportation, get yourself to $530. You could drive away in this. Drive one of the greats, a new Jaguar, a design classic. Features include a power sunroof and dashboard of mahogany, birch, and walnut veneer. The Jaguar, uncommon grace in every line. Furnished by Hollywood Sport Cars. This magnificent automobile normally priced at $32,856. Yours on sale of the century for only $530. Oh, is that beautiful. That is gorgeous. $640 would get you everything. $750 would get you everything on the stage plus this. Her cash jackpot at $65,000. So, John, I'm going to find out a decision from you whether you're going to take that lovely TV and leave or play on in a moment. John has just been gabbing away here with Summer. Why are you gabbing with Summer? She's my favorite Miss USA. I'm a beauty pageant freak, and uh, yes. I think she's so beautiful. And yes, yeah. indeed, and yeah. Summer was uh, Miss USA not that long ago. But, John, right now, do you want to come back and see Sh Summer on our next show, or do you want to take your color TV and leave? Now, remember, you must win if you want to get a crack at those his and her jet skis next up the line. What are you going to do? Well, I haven't got a hole in the wall big enough for the TV. I'd like a chance to come back and be with Summer, so I'm going to come back. Okay, we'll put his $80 in the bank, another $1,000 in the cash jackpot, $66,000, and John and Summer will talk. We'll see you next time on Sale of the Century. Yes.
Century is a Red Strandy production. This is the beautiful star of the